So you've seen that there are some broad aspects of personality, some archetypes, and we express them using four colors that help us understand personality. But how do we get to that? Well, Jung identified eight aspects of personality that are measured quite effectively through a number of different psychometric tests. In these few lectures that follow here, I'm going to take you through the eight aspects of personality that are used in the Luminous Spark assessment. I'm also going to provide to you access to the Luminous Splash app. You'll see a link below and that will give you an opportunity on a, an Android device or an Apple device to download a really cool app that asks you questions of the eight aspects I'm about to explain and will show you how you use your personality and which colour tends to be um, right for you. So the important thing though to recognise is that there's a key distinction between let's say sort of pre-1980s, pre-1990s psychology and modern psychology. And interestingly many of the psychometrics that you might even use in your business today still hark back to pre-Big um, Five theory. And pre-Big Five psychologists believed in type. So psychologists believe you were introverted or you were extroverted. Now nowadays psychologists don't like to think like that. They recognise you could be introverted and extroverted. I mean Daniel Pink talks a lot about the ambivert and recognising that you can embrace paradox in your personality, that you could use introversion and extroversion is an essential part of the luminous spark tool and I'd like you to recognise it as you're thinking about personality today. So let me introduce you to the first aspect of personality that I've just mentioned, introversion and extroversion. The question is, what do you use more? Well, someone who uses more extroversion thinks out loud. They express themselves through their physicality, through their facial gestures and through the way they talk. You know, an extrovert gets their energy from other people. So, more often, generally speaking, they are generally speaking. Whereas an introvert takes their energy from inside. They look inside and so they're more reflective, they're more measured. They observe more. They're more comfortable being on their own and they don't need to contribute in group discussions and they often much prefer to reflect afterwards, comment in writing or speak to you one to one but they're not energised by the group so they don't need the energy of the group brainstorm to get ideas out in the open. Understanding which aspect of your personality, and broadly speaking, you'll see when we look at, when we show you the model, that those that are using more extroversion tend to be more kind of red-yellow and people using introversion, it's a more blue-green trait. So that's the first aspect of personality you want to understand. And as we go through all of these aspects, I'll invite you to think, you'll see in your workbook that you'll get a chance to mark where you see yourself using these energies. So as I'm taking you through, think for yourself, how do you use these energies? Do you get energised by others? When you get an idea, do you need to speak to somebody about it? Or are you somebody who's more introverted? Do you need to look inside, reflect inside? Are you harder to read? Another measure that you might be more introverted in your preferences.